What's going on everybody? So check this out. Friends over here at Golf Kicks sent me these little cleat inserts that you put in the bottom of your shoe. So you can take any pair of kicks that you have at your house. For example, I took an old pair of my Adidas because I didn't trust myself do with the pilot holes and drilling this in and I wasn't sure if I was going to ruin a pair of nice shoes. And it's pretty easy what these guys do is they send you, send you this box and they're going to give you a Phillips screwdriver in it. And then on top of that, they're going to give you this little, I think it's like a, what, a 5 16 or something like that. So this is what you're going to drill your pilot holes in the bottom of your shoes with. And then I didn't even count how many they sent me. But there's enough of these to do both your cleats. So this is what they look like. They're just a, a typical, you know, insert for regular golf shoes. What these things do is they just screw straight into the bottom of your of your shoes. And what you want to look for is more of a of a flat rubber, like a flat rubber sole on the bottom of your shoe. Um, you don't want to use foam. They have instructions online. You can go to golfkicks.com and you can watch the video of how they actually install them. Um, that's what I did basically and they sent me this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play a full round of golf, 18 holes, and we're going to see how they how they hold up on a course. Um, I'm a pretty advanced golfer so I know how much traction I like so I probably didn't use the amount of uh, clean inserts that they use in their video. Um, I think I use six per shoe. So let's see if they hold up and withstand the test of 18 holes. And at the end of this video, we'll see how many cleats I have on the bottom of my shoes. All right. So we're on hole. Hole five. Hole five, par five. Lost one out of two, four, so I had six. Five holes in, can you see this one? Yeah. I'm gonna hold my foot for you. Yep. That one's holding up good, but it's my right foot that does the twisting, which is weird that the, the outside cleat fell off. But hole five, I've only lost one, so that means by 18, what, we should have, by 18 we should have. Three gone, maybe? Maybe I'll have one more left. 19. I screwed up my drive on this hole. So I'm hitting three into the green. Count. What hole are we on, Ayla? Nine? What's that say? Nine. We're in a hole nine. I haven't lost any more cleats or spikes, whatever you want to call them. I call them cleats. We got a par four, 380 yards. Phil Mickelson says hit bombs. Work out calves and hit bombs. That's what I'm doing. All right, you guys, I almost got a full round of golf in. I think we got through, I think 14, 13 or 14 holes there. Um, course started to get a little bit busy, started to slow down. So we didn't quite have time to finish the entire 18, uh, 18 holes in that round, but going through the holes that we did complete uh, all the way through 14, I only lost one of these spikes on the bottom of my shoe. Um, I believe it was my right shoe that I lost the spike on. Overall, um, pretty satisfied with this product. Um, I'll be honest, I was skeptical at first, and I was given I was giving these guys over at Golf Kick some a hard time about these things, saying that I wasn't sure they would stick into the shoe and stay in the shoe um, going through a full round of golf. Uh, for the most part, I was wrong there. They did absolutely stay inside of the shoe in the bottom of them. Um, you'll see here that these things are 
simply just, I guess they're just a plastic. And the only downside that I saw to this was I actually stripped, um, I want to say I stripped three or four of these while trying to get them into my, the bottom of my shoe. I was a little bit too forceful and I found that if I just drilled the pilot hole a little bit deeper, I wouldn't have to force it. But the Phillips screwdriver that they give you, um, it goes into the cleats or into the spikes pretty well. But if you twist too hard and you slightly bend it at an angle, since this isn't a type of metal or steel, it's just simply going to strip it and then it's just going to cause a big hole in the bottom of that or in the top of it, I should say. Um, what else they send you? They send you a marker so you can mark the bottom of your shoe. Um, and they send you some ball markers as well. I believe I have enough spikes in here to replace, um, you know, the spikes that fall off my, the bottom of my shoes. The one spike that I did lose was over here located in this area. Um, the rest of them stayed on. I don't use a lot of spikes towards the heel of my shoe because most of my weight when I golf is in this area here when I'm swinging. Um, so I like to have more traction towards the toe on both, on both shoes, especially when it comes to the right foot. Um, this spike that I lost here, I think I just didn't, I don't think I drilled the pilot hole deep enough. I think that's what happened because the rest of them, um, I ended up doing pretty solid in this one, as you can see, all, um, what, two, four, six of these stayed on perfectly fine. Uh, you can twist them out by hand but it's not easy. So that's something that's good and something I feel like I should mention. The only thing, like I'm saying, the only thing that I would change um, on your shoe is going to be a better insert. So on these Adidas I have here, the insert, the insole, whatever, is, is just a thin foam insert. I, I should get a thicker gel pad for the inside of these shoes because when I'm walking, I can feel each one of these spikes dig into the bottom of my foot. And it's extremely uncomfortable when, when I'm playing around a golf. I can't imagine walking 18 holes or let alone nine holes, just walking from the cart to the ball and walking on the green. Um, I could feel a tremendous amount of pressure on the inside of my shoe. So that's not necessarily something on their end. That's just something you're going to have to modify with your shoe. Like these Adidas are some cheap Adidas. They're not something with a thick insole or anything like that. So it's a... Uh, that's something I'm going to try to upgrade and play with these shoes some more because, like I said, I like to play around a golf occasionally in some casual shoes that are, that are more comfortable, um, especially if I'm going to be walking on a course. I want to make sure they're comfortable, and that way if I trash them, I'm not really concerned about it. But all in all, this product, if you guys are looking to throw some spikes into the bottom of a pair of shoes that you have and play around a golf and then simply take them out, this seems like a good product. It seems like they're making some changes with their product. I believe this is the second version of their of their spikes. So I believe that the guys over here at Golf Kicks are actively listening and they're trying to better their product. So hopefully this video helps a lot of people understand what these are for, understand how they work, and I hope it helps Golf Kicks and the guys over there better their product and come up with different ideas. I'd like to see them come up with um, some new spikes that don't strip when you feed them in and maybe more threads on it. I don't know if that's something that they can experiment with or something that they've already experimented with, but I just feel like putting them in the bottom of the shoe uh, itself, it needed a lot of force and I had to hold the inside of the shoe and push the, the actual spike down pretty hard and that's what caused me to strip a few of them. So that's something I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with and if they can better this product, then so be it. But uh, if I had to rate this product out of 10 stars, it's kind of hard to rate this product because there's nothing to really compare it to in the market um, that I've seen at least. But I would have to give this one an 8 out of 10 uh, for durability, for uh, easy easy install. Uh, even though you have to put a little bit of muscle into it, it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy just to screw them in the bottom of your shoe. And um, overall, satisfied with the product. So I hope you guys go check out Golf Kicks.